people will say, oh, you're a billionaire. I'm like, I'm not a billionaire, but sometimes I do spend like one. And that's based on, you know, my theory of having maximum experiences, right? I want to have, you know, I want to have fun. I want to have those experiences. And I've had that, that philosophy about like, you know, life experiences. So I have a burn calculator about how much I should be burning each year based on my earnings, my net worth, and my expected life outcome. So in order to have the maximum amount of experiences, I need to be doing these things now, 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 now. I, I think there's a lot of billionaires that like, they're like, they're not, they're so underspending. They're so under experiencing. Uh, experiences pay dividends. Like sometimes a, a, a trip or, 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 you know, a relationship or a job or a career or even a difficult time, you get years and years and years of dividends just remembering and reliving that experience i haven't heard anybody disagree with the philosophy it was derived from like basically time time is money and money you know experience and what you're working for and then to make it the greatest you, you spend at different times of your life right which then uh if, if and then also the other precept that money that you have when you die is wasted time Right. So the object is to die with zero. Then you can then from there, it's just math. Right. Like once you get those concepts. Right. Because one day I'm just going to be sitting there watching the prices. Right. Eating tapioca pudding, you know, thinking about, you know, the trip I took this, this summer, you know, hanging out down the Amalfi Coast on the yacht, et cetera. Or, you know, hanging out with my kids and, and taking them around and then watching them experience other cultures, that type of thing. When people are like, what are you doing? You're spending this money. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm actually saving for retirement. You don't retire on money, you retire on your memories.